Is your dish machine having problems and you just can't seem to figure out why? Everything may look good mechanically and you still need to rewash dishes. There's a simple trick that may just be the answer you're looking for. That's right. With one trick, you can cut down on energy consumption, excess product usage, and wasted time, all while restoring your dish machine's ability to clean and wash dishes. Watch the whole video to learn what the practice is and how neglecting to do it negatively affects your wear wash program. The number one reason your commercial dish machine isn't working properly is likely because the dishes aren't properly pre-scraped and pre-rinsed. And no, I don't just mean splash some water on the dishes before loading it. By removing all the leftover food debris from the dishes, you can save yourself from the headache of dealing with customer complaints, spotty wares, and increased costs due to the product and time loss. Let's look at how. The first thing you'll notice is a buildup of food debris in the water tank. That means food particles will be recirculating through the machine during wash cycles, essentially re-dirtying the dishes. When this happens, dishes need to be washed twice, wasting time and product. If the water tank doesn't get changed frequently enough, then the food debris will run into decaying food debris. Once decayed, the food particles produce a bad odor and promote the growth of bacteria. Food particle buildup also leads to blockages. There are a lot of parts of the inside of the dishwasher that get clogged by leftover food particles, like the pump screen, drains, and even the spray jets on the wash arms. When a blockage occurs in any of these areas, it diminishes the water pressure and can alter spray pattern. With reduced water pressure, it is difficult for the dishwasher to adequately wash dishes. This problem is made even worse by the loose food particles already clinging to the dishes. Again, this leads to dishes requiring a rewash, wasting time and product. Another issue with food debris buildup is how it can cause problems for the water level indicators, also called floats. The floats sense how much water is in the tank so that it knows when to introduce fresh water. Food particles can cling to the floats, messing with their ability to sense the water level. When this happens, the floats can think that there's less water. As a result, the dish machine pumps more water into the tank unnecessarily wasting product and increasing energy consumption. Even with the extra detergent, dishes will probably still need to get recleaned because the food particles are likely also clogging the spray jets and clinging to dishes. It's a crummy situation, but fortunately it can be avoided by ensuring that dishes are scraped and rinsed before getting loaded. It may seem like a small action, but in the long run, it will have a large impact on how your business runs and is viewed by customers. So if you're ever left wondering why your dish machine isn't getting the job done and there aren't any major mechanical issues, now you know that it may be time to assess whether the dishes are getting pre-scraped and pre-rinsed. Call today to schedule a free virtual or in-person evaluation so our industry experts can review your operations and identify opportunities for optimization to your wear wash program. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button and leave a comment below.